This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Excuse my language, what a fucking electric start from you tonight. Was that like three seconds? Five seconds. Five seconds, five seconds yeah. Yeah, just talk me through that first round and, and then five seconds. Uh, was the game plan just to jump on him straight away? No. Joe did tell me, put the right hand on him early. Um, nobody really expects big right hand in the face straight away, do they? It's, it's usually come out, jab, move around, touch, touch. So... I just thought I'd give him a surprise. Must have been hard for you to sort of compose yourself because it was electric in there, all your fans and family uh, were right next to you screaming. Um, how hard, difficult was it kind of to compose yourself and not get caught in an exchange with him? Um, well, to be honest, it wasn't very hard at all because the harder you try with Bob, the worse you will look. Bob's one of them, them characters. You go looking for him, you'll never find him. You've got to let Bob come and then you'll get him. So I was jabbing to be first, making him miss and going again. Um, the harder you try, the less success you'll have with him. Tony Bell, will tell you that because Tony had a good fight with him. Uh, one majority decision. Now, I'm not saying I'm no Tony Bell, but he put Tony over because Tony didn't value him. But I went in there valuing him. I knew he was a live opponent who can fight, but um, I just done what I had to do to, to get the win. We definitely haven't seen the best of you, uh, especially in recent times. It's been a frustrating period, as everyone knows. People in boxing know how good you are. Joe speaks so highly of you. Fighters at a Gallagher gym speak so highly of you. How much better are you than tonight? Tonight was a brilliant performance, but that's still not the best Jose Burton, is it? I don't know how good I am. It's, it's up to me fist to do the talking. You know, get me in another fight and I'll show you. You know, I might, I might do a little bit better than that. Um, but I do believe the better opponent, the better I come. Um, it's been a long time. It's been three years out the ring. Not out the ring, but out of decent fights. You know. Um, was motivation a problem, like training for them sort of fights? Training was never a problem, but getting motivated to go and fight somebody who's not on your level, that was very hard. Because I'm always training, I'm always fit, I'm always ready. It's just getting motivated to fight somebody that you know you can beat, even if you was <laughs> dragged out the pub. You know, that, that's the kind of thing it was. In many people's eyes, you've just beaten the second best fight in that tournament. So everyone is kind of expecting you to win this tournament. Uh, is that how you see it as well, Jose? From the very start, no one wanted to pick me. No one wanted to pick Bob. When Bob picked out the number four ball, I said, right, we're on. Because I had a red ball. But um, listen, I don't think anybody else tonight would have beat Bob top and bottom of it so I'm not saying I'm going to go and fly through and smash everyone in the competition which I think I will win the competition but it's just one of them things you never know until you're on the night Can I just quickly ask you get a reaction to a shock defeat with Stephen Ward it wasn't, No, no, no that wasn't a shock defeat The manner in he lost first round Stephen Ward is a good fighter Stephen Ward's very, very weight drained Stephen was going to be one of my picks because I've seen how much he was struggling on the draw. He was sat down, he was lethargic, he was, he was, he's too big of a man for the weight. I don't know how he's done the weight. I'm six foot four, I'm a big man for the weight. I, I don't put weight on, you know. I, I'm 13'2 now, you know. I'll walk around 13'4 and make 12'7, you know. I'm not, I don't go massive. Stephen's the type of man who goes probably 14 half, 15 stone. Stephen was weight drained. That's the reason he lost how he lost. He, he, he's, he's starving his brain of fluid. That's why he's got hit high. His legs went. That's the top and bottom of it. Right, Jose Burton, well done tonight on a, a brilliant performance against Bob, Bob Adjusef. Uh, have a nice Christmas and I'll see you in the new year, all right? Thank you. I'll see you soon. God bless you, Jose. Thank you.